with the first word here, it is benevolent. I like saying that word, benevolent. And right here at the start, you can see that word benevolent starts with B-E-N-E. -N -E. If you see that in English, B-E-N-E, -E, think good. There's probably something in the definition for a word that has B-E-N-E -E, that means good. And this word benevolent definitely does mean good. Benevolent is another way to say kind and wanting to help others. Let's take a closer look at this picture. It looks like there is a teacher in the middle. Everybody is smiling. AI did generate all of these photos. Artificial intelligence, we call it in English. So sometimes there are mistakes. This one looks okay. I don't know what's going on on the edge of the photo. It's a little blurry there. But for the most part, it looks like there is a teacher in the middle helping students. We might describe that teacher as benevolent. Our teacher is very benevolent. She always spends extra time with students who need help. How about this one? This man. We may need to talk about a word in the sentence because it could be difficult. But let's look at that picture. Looks like you have an older gentleman. And maybe he is handing the younger gentleman. And in the background, we have a lot of little kids sitting there. So let's look at this sentence right below. The benevolent old man donated part of his fortune to the local orphanage. Fortune, that means a lot of money. If he has a fortune, that means he has a lot of money. An orphanage, it's rather sad, but in the United States, there are places called orphanages. It sounds like a weird word, doesn't it? Orphanages. An orphanage is where young children will live who do not have any parents. It's very sad, but luckily this benevolent old man is donating part of his fortune to the orphanage. Benevolent. If you remember the definition, it's another way to say kind, wanting to help others. The next one, brevity. Brevity, that is pretty fun to say, I think, too. Brevity means being short, or concise. It comes from brief. If you know that word brief, it comes from that. Uh, so brief would be the adjective. Brevity is the noun. Let's talk about this word here and show you a picture. Looks like there is a, a woman speaking at a podium. We would call that thing she is standing at a podium. And there are a lot of people in the audience. But guess what? She is giving a speech and it's not that long. I'm not sure if you have ever been in an audience and there was a speaker who would not stop talking. You might get a little bored, but luckily this speech was known for its brevity. It was short. The audience liked her speech for its brevity and clarity. Clarity is a noun, but it comes from clear. So if something is clear, it's understood. Her speech had clarity. 